Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! One hundred and thirty-three homeless people have died in the UK since October 2017, according to figures gathered by the Bureau of Investigative Journalism. One of them was Jane Simpson. This programme met her in Stafford in December, when a local charity was trying to help rough sleepers through the harsh winter. Despite their best efforts, she was found dead in a doorway in the town centre last month. Her family and outreach workers hope her death will prompt people to think about practical ways they can help. From Stafford, here's Paul McNamara. She was always into mischief. She had lots of friends. And she was beautiful. She had a, a real sense of humour. And nothing ever got her down. I wish I had longer with her. And I wish I'd appreciated the time that I did have with her. There was no shortage of people wanting to say goodbye. No shortage of devastation. Or tears. A memorial like countless others, maybe. But maybe not how we think the life of a rough sleeper might be remembered. Mum would always love you. In another lifetime, this was Jane Simpson, a happy teenager who spent her youth on the Isle of Wight. But by the time Channel 4 News first met Jane eight months ago, aged 52 and in Stafford, the trials of life on the street were etched onto her. The night before, Jane had tried to take her own life. Jane, promise me something. Okay. Never do that again. I know. That's twice as you know. Twice. Never do that again. Jane did survive the winter, but not the summer. She died last month. On the morning of July 11th, Jane's body was discovered in this doorway in the town centre. Wesley was her neighbour. He still sleeps in the same spot. There's so many people that talked about her death, right? Yeah. So. So what was she like? What was you know? She, she was, was your neighbour. Well, she was funny, kind. Uh, you know, a bit. She was just a lovely woman. According to the post mortem, Jane died of natural causes, albeit after decades of fighting addiction. Hers, though, is just one of many similar deaths. In fact, according to ongoing research by the Bureau of Investigative Journalism. Since last October, 133 homeless people have died in the UK. We had lots of opportunities where Jane could have taken a, a more positive path. Yeah. And she chose not to. Uh, and that's hard for us because we're, we're always seeking ways to help people in whatever way we can. So, you know, bless you, Jane, this could, didn't need to happen. So the question is just how how does the life of this young woman descend so desperately it eventually ends alone on the streets? According to Jane's mother, it all began at 15 when she started drinking. The drinking increased, but at 21 something would happen, the ripples from which would be felt forevermore. Jane's unborn baby died. And because she'd gone so far, she had to have a normal birth. Her baby was born, he was beautiful, beautiful red-headed boy. He was warm and I couldn't believe that he wasn't alive. And Jane didn't grieve properly. It was awful, she carried on drinking. Did the drinking get worse then yeah, after this story? Worse. Yeah. Jane would eventually have five children, but the cycle of addiction that dictated her life meant that all five would be adopted out. This is her third child, Tia. So when you think about your mum, what do you think about? The good times. I didn't know her for very long because I was adopted. Uh, I met her in 2009. 
She wasn't on the drink. She wasn't on the drugs. She was a completely different woman. At that point, things were stable. Yeah. She was off the drink. Yeah, then she, she had a couple of mates that lived across the road from her and they was bringing bottles in the house. So that triggered my mum because it was there around her, she started drinking. Yeah. And that, that's where she fell in the loophole and then got in with the wrong people. The last time I seen her before she passed, she, just a completely different woman. Didn't look how I remembered her. Didn't speak the way I remembered her. How long different. had it been since you'd seen her at that point? About two and a half years, three years. We'd lost touch. Um, we made up and then she just spiralled again. In the last years, both Tia and her grandmother were desperate to help Jane. Help that Jane's addictions overruled. I always had this awful thought that one day I might get a phone call to say something could happen to her. She was so beautiful. She got all her life in front of her. She was a lovely person. And yet I couldn't help her at the end when she was... ..she died in a doorway. Everyone knows a Jane, say her family, say the charity that supported her and paid for her funeral. But what they hope Jane's legacy might be is that the next time we see a rough sleeper, we remember that they too might have a family, loved ones, a past, and just maybe a future too. Paul McNamara reporting. I've been